explosion imminent. Explosion imminent. Awaiting orders. everybody to x4 foundations i'm an old guy gaming and in this episode our major goal Awaiting is to orders. get started on our in product modules here on our building supplies depot uh so as you saw from the montage Awaiting there orders. we have just been fighting non-stop fighting of the xenon up here in the split free family area and uh Awaiting so I've managed to, to clear out fires of defeat. Wow, big old battle took place there. That wasn't for me either. Um, I have noticed the Talati have been sending forces into uh, fires of defeat. If they have designs on uh, taking it over, that would be fine with me. They can have it. I just don't want the Xenon to take it over because we need that passageway into these systems. Um, so let's see here. Yeah, as you can see from all these little factories here, well, not this one, but all these other ones, uh, the Xenon are just relentless in trying to re-establish a foothold here. And uh, I still have to get this defense platform out of here, too. Uh, but what I've been doing is just kind of hanging out in the center of the sector, and as soon as I see them pop up the station, I send uh, the destroyers over there to take it out. And it's finally started to slow down just a little bit. Um, so the plan for for this continued assault here is that we're going to uh, we're going to take out this defense platform, and I'm probably just going to push right on through into uh, family decur, clean them out of here, um, push through into matrix. In fact, I, my tentative plan at this point actually is simply just to push them all the way back to matrix nine, um, and 
probably even see if I can take out their wharf and their shipyard. Because if we do that, then we're going to seriously gimp them. Um, and, you know, maybe just wipe them out altogether in this particular area. Um, the other thing I'm going to need to do is head down into Thurik's Demise 3 and clean them out of here and over to Eonimus Zura 4. Um, but they, they've got, you know, quite a presence Awaiting down here orders. too. So that's not going to happen uh, quickly. It's, it's going to take some time to get all of that done. But we are making progress and um, doing well. orders. Um, as you saw too in the uh, the montage there, we killed our very first Xenon Eye. <clears throat> and quite frankly, uh, we did it with ease. Um, I've What I've been doing as I, as I showed in the montage is I just send my fighters in to take out the engines of both the K and the Z. Or I'm sorry, the I. And then they're dead in the water. And then all you have to do is just come Away at them orders. from the top. And you can blow them up and they can't do anything about it. So it seems to work pretty good. So we'll continue to employ that tactic uh, for the knots. Awaiting um, orders. Okay, so let's see. Don't think there's really a whole lot else to get you caught up on at this point. I do have I have sent my Corvette fleet Awaiting orders. up into Zyarth space. Um, rather than sending all my big fleet back over here. And these guys are just, you know, keeping things under control up here. Um, when the Xenon, you know, start to set up a, a new station in any of these systems. Mostly Crit, Zen, and Zyars Dominion 1. Those are the three that the Xenon keep continually trying to encroach into. Uh, we just send them over there and slap them back. So, I'm not no longer worried about um, the western section here. The... Paranid have been doing a really good job of keeping a defense force at this gate to prevent the Xenon from, you know, coming through this way. And in fact, it looks like either they or the Terrans, because I've seen the Terrans up here too, are starting to push into Litany of Fury a 9, which makes sense because, you know, they own a system uh, in Litany of Fury 12. Uh, so that is A-OK -okay with me. <clears throat> but, like I said, I'm not too worried about this side of things because the AI seems to be doing a pretty good job of of keeping them at bay. All right, so let's get on to our main goal for this episode. And that is uh, that we're going to start um, adding on the, the end product to our supplies depot. Now, I'm going to have a lot more of the intermediate modules to add as time goes on. Um, <clears throat> but I want to get the end product modules in place first and in doing so, then that will tell us how many uh, more, well, I'm actually not even really using the game for that. I'm using the, the online calculator, station calculator to figure that out. But I want to get the end products going in hull parts and playtronics in particular. So we can start manufacturing those things so that we can then start setting up defense towers in strategic locations and later on uh, more trading stations and so on and so forth. I also have plans uh, to build our first wharf as soon as this project is done. And I'm mostly going to build it initially to support um, uh, manufacturing of Xi fighters. Uh, those are my main fighters now. Oh, well, and Nodans too, for that matter. Um, and then I'll continue to expand it as time goes on to start supporting, you know, larger ships and so forth. Striking. But, you know, even for, even for just fighters, it's, it's going to be quite in, quite involved. But I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. It's going to be another pretty large complex, and we're probably going to put that complex, uh, maybe back behind the trading station in this area over here is what I'm currently thinking about doing. Or, I don't know, maybe we'll actually put it down more to the south here um we've got lots of room i mean we've got this whole entire sector so uh okay so with that being said uh, what we're gonna do is um i'm gonna actually do a quick save here i'm constantly also having to tell my i've got my my she squadron awaiting orders uh on a protect position near the gate to keep the cock under control but they, they just keep popping out of nowhere, and I still have yet to... I haven't Awaiting actually orders. looked recently, but I still have yet to figure out where those bastards are coming from. 
Um, you know, too, just just FYI, um, in open market. I was asked to oh, drop for Pete's my sake. Now, Cormorant three. Um, let's see where he's at. I just hate getting interrupted by these guys, but if I don't help them out, they will usually, well, not usually, but more often than I would like, um, get killed. So, uh, let's see, you, let's go here. The good news, though, is that these guys, these pirates have been attacking in Grand Exchange 1, which is the worst place for them to do that, because that's where I have the most ships that can come after them. Um, but let's see, who's the who's the bad guy here? Okay, so it's, it looks like it's a Minotaur. Alright, so I'm going to grab any ships that I currently have in Grand Exchange. So it doesn't look like any... Yeah, this Vulture, you're in Grand Exchange, right? Where are you? Oh, no, you're... Okay, you're, you're just one jump over. So let's just send his fighters over to deal with this asshole. I I need to I need to just turn the S uh go to war with the SCA completely so that their ships are just automatically enemied and then put patrols in to destroy them, but um not sure how well that's going to work, so we'll just keep doing what we're doing for now. It's a pain in the butt, but got to get done. Okay, so the Cormorant should, he's on flea, so he should be fine to get away while the those fighters go deal with him. All right, so now uh, what we're going to do is, let's close that. We're going to go into plan build. And... The idea here is that I'm going to keep the storage space uh, or the area where the storage is free of anything on top because that's where we're going to put our habitats. And I'm not even going to worry about the habitats, <clears throat> excuse me, for now. We'll, we can put those in later. You don't need habitats. They just make you your station a lot more efficient. Uh, so we will be doing it, but it's not something we have to put in immediately. Um, so, let's get started then with uh, what I want to do. Is we're going to build off of this first. Well, actually, hold on. Before we do that, we're going to put start with our hull parts. So let's find the module first of all, so we know what we're working with. Boom, it's all parts. Here we go. Um, so let's just plop that down for a second. And uh, these connect on the bottom. Okay. So what I think we'll do then, they're not they're actually not that big, which is good. That means we can put a lot in a small area. Uh, what we're gonna do then is we're gonna put a vertical here. I want to make sure there's plenty of clearance. Let's put another... Well, just get it up a little higher. Um... I'm going to go even higher than that, just, again, so that way we have plenty of clearance and we don't have to worry about it. We have plenty of space to build. Yeah, that, that's probably going to be better. Because some of these modules, depending upon how they connect, I might need to connect them underneath the, you know, the top spine of this. And we just want to make sure we have plenty of room for that. Okay, let's put a cross on here. And then I am going to, let's copy that module. I am going to, you know, build uh, an upper spine going back. I know I don't need to do that, but I just, I like, 
I like the stuff to be connected. I mean, technically, you could put all of these modules inside the plot and not connect any of them and they would work, but I don't like that. That, does, that doesn't work well for my sensibilities. Uh, okay, so... So essentially, this whole first section um, is going to be all for all parts. So what I want to do then is... I don't want anything connecting directly to the spine. But what I'm thinking maybe is... If we... You know what? I might not actually use this after all. At least not at the moment. Let's move that over there for a second. Okay, so what we could do then is grab you. And let's move Striking. to you this way. Here, let's do a, a view reset. Okay, so we could do a row there, and then we could do an inverse row underneath it. So we want to, uh, what's, yeah, we want the red ring here. Flip it around this way. Awaiting orders. Just got off by a degree. There we go. <clears throat> okay. Awaiting orders. And then now we'll take this and pop it under... No, not there. Pop it underneath. I'm going to have to go at this from a little bit different angle. Uh... Oh. Duh. <laughs> I was down too low. There we go. Okay. And again, this is why I wanted this to go up a little higher, because see, we had to come down further this way. Okay, and then what we can do now at this point is we can expand out to either side. So let's copy this whole sequence and pop it in there. Yeah, I think that's good because I want to leave just a little bit of breathing space because remember we're going to put habitats over here. We're going to have a whole bunch of skyscraper habitats essentially. Okay, so that gives us four of these and I, I wanted to actually start with eight. So let's copy the sequence there and copy the sequence here and that gets us our, our eight to start with with plenty of room to expand so what I'll do when if and when we add more is we'll just keep expanding out to this side and this side and then if we need to add even more you know then we'll just go up because we still have quite a bit of headroom to go up quite a ways on those okay good um, let's get started with the build as we continue to add, uh, or before we continue to add the other stuff. Uh, so what we want to do is resources needed to complete. Everything is okay. Oh no, we got to confirm module changes first. Okay, 
Now our builder should be hanging out here. There he is. I'm gonna buy another build or two. One builder is just gonna permanently live in Reaver's Fortune. And then the other one we will take with us as we go out and set up defense towers and other stations. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab um, let's close the menu here for the moment. And we're gonna grab We're gonna grab one of these Hermes. So this guy is in 18 billion. He's in Black Hole Sun. Pious Miss. Yeah, this one's the closest. So we're going to basically remove all orders and assignments. And we're going to assign him to the building supplies depot to trade for storage. And so then what he's going to do, of course, is he's going to start grabbing all the whole parts and electronics and e-cells and whatnot from our trading station and bring it over here. And you know what, too? Just to speed things up, I am also going to just open up this up to the public to supply us as well. All right, so let's go back into plan build. We want to accept this estimate of 15 million. And now uh, the AI can also start supplying us in addition to our own ship. Beautiful. Okay, so that takes care of that. Um, let's go ahead and just take a quick check on everything here. All right, so we haven't lost any ships. Xenon have not attempted to, to start a new factory. Uh, it looks like they're trying to attack the split, one of the split stations. So let's tell our fighters. Uh, well, I can't see. Let's just tell them to fly over there and then we'll attack. Uh, Fires of Defeat is still clear. Xenon's not trying to rebuild there. Let's take a look at Zyrus Dominion 1. Yep. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to send our Dragon Patrol over here. Take that thing out. And I'm going to directly tell the other Corvettes to attack it as well. Let's take a quick look at Family Zen and Family Crit. Okay, no, nothing new coming up there. We do have a K hanging out by the gate here. But uh, I'm not really too worried about him right now. He he might be a handful for this fleet to handle. But it could be done. I just have to really carefully manage it. Okay, so I think we're good on the Xenon for the moment. Let's check Nopalios' Fortune 2. So yeah, these cock are just all over the place. I did try to set repeat up repeating orders so they patrol around, and I might, maybe I'll do that again, but it didn't seem to be super effective because, you know, they'd be off on their, like, fifth little patrol area, where and then the cock would be just down here screwing with everybody. So, you know, multiple... I might just need to set up multiple patrols in this system. I mean, ideally, I'd, I'd like to, uh, okay, that's probably our fighters. 
back up in Tharkas here. Yeah. Ooh, that's a K. Okay, in that case, I'm going to send you guys over to kill this guy. Wait, what did I just do? I clicked the wrong thing. Oh, I did attack multiple objects. Okay. No, I just want you to do a normal attack. Yeah, there's only two fighters over there, so I'm not too worried about them. We could... We could try to have these guys take out their engines, but I don't think we need to. I mean, our four destroyers will make short work of that K. I'm not worried about it. Plus, we have our support ship in the system. So let's just call these guys back and let the destroyers handle that. Okay, so um, back to the build here. So we've got the eight hull parts set up. So I think what I'm going to do uh, next I'm just just pondering a few things. Okay, I think what we'll do next is let's grab this vertical. And we'll put it there. I, what what I'm is in my head is if I think I would ever have to expand this direction with these hull parts. But, man, I don't think so. I mean, because if you think about it, if I go all the way out laterally to the side until I can't go any further and then start going up vertically, that is a shit ton of hull parts. So I don't think we will need to do that. And, you know, the ratio of hull parts to claytronics for most uh, building in NX4 is 4 to 1. So 4 hull parts to 1 claytronics. It's not true across the board, but it's generally true enough. Uh, so if we have 8 of these, then we should have 2 claytronics. However, I'm going to actually overbuild that a little bit too, and I'm going to put 4 claytronics in. Okay, so now let's go ahead and copy this module and pop it over here. Oh, wait a minute. I don't know where that just went, so I'm going to undo it. <laughs> it went in the wrong space, uh, wrong place. Copy module. There we go. And um, Let's copy this module and put it in here. No. Oh yeah. This is this is a short. Oh, it doesn't. Yeah, I run into that sometimes where it won't um it doesn't perfectly line up. I mean it's just off by a micrometer. We put that there. Copy that module and put it there. Okay, that, that time it let me do it. Awaiting orders. And again, I know I don't need these cross pieces, but I want the cross pieces. I just want that connection to be made because I think Awaiting it orders. should be. In a real situation, you know, having these here just gives more passageway for movement inside 
of the facility anyway, so I guess that could be an argument for it, even though that's completely academic because it doesn't matter in reality. Well, in the reality of this game. Uh, okay, so enough of that. <laughs> let's do this. Let's um, let's grab a superfluid. Actually, who's telling me awaiting orders? Uh, no. Uh, confirm module changes. It's not... These guys are... Oh, it's these guys. Okay, yeah, so they, they wiped out that K. Um, you know what? Why don't we also, since you guys are here... We'll just grab these four and tell them to... Eliminate those little bastards, too. Okay. Yeah, so look at that. All five of our destroyers took out that K, and none of them are damaged. I mean, I'm sure they took a little shield damage, but that's a good thing. That is a very good thing. Did the Xenon put... I didn't know they put satellites down. I know the A, the ra you know, the races do, but I... Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> The other factions. I didn't know this man did that. Excuse me. I, I thought, maybe that isn't a Xenon satellite. It doesn't tell me who owns it. Anyway, okay, whatever. At some point, we'll we'll go blow that up too. In fact, you know what we could do is some. Um, You guys attack this little bastard first, and then when you're done with that, come over here and... Oh. I guess I can't order them to attack a satellite. How interesting. I, I can do it myself on my own ship. Hmm. Okay. Too many distractions. What happens when you start getting a big empire? There's a lot, a lot of stuff to manage, but that's part of the fun of the game. I, I love it. I love it. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to go here. Back to planning build. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to put down some Claytronics modules. Which are these guys. And that looks like it's also a bottom connection. Okay. So what we'll do then with the Claytronics... Move that away from there. I'm going to copy a cross piece and then rotate that 90 degrees. Put it there. That does kind of encroach on the verticality of that, however. And that could affect us building up in the, uh, you know, later on. So let's do this. Let's move this over. Let's move that out of the way for a minute. And I want to grab just a short of those. Put that there. And put that there. Okay, good. Now, uh, let's do the same thing here. So let's copy sequence.
Burn it. Oh, no, wait a second. That's not what I wanted. I'm just going to have to take this apart here. I was hoping to rotate the whole thing at once, but it wasn't quite behaving there. Get you off of there. Now, looks like I might be able to rotate this, though. Yeah, there we go. All right, I want you to be 180 degrees. And then pop you up there. Good. Oh, this whole thing is off. Oh, for goodness sakes. I just realized this is all off center. And this need this whole thing needs to be moved over one module. So I was going, why isn't that lining up? Well, it's because you didn't do it right. It gets really hard to see see stuff once you start getting all this stuff in here. Is it shouldn't there be another Yeah. You come over here. You go there. Now, can I pick this whole piece up? No, I don't want to copy it. I want to move it. Yeah, there we go. Cool. All right, so we were able to move the whole thing over without having to take it apart. That's better. Now it's lined up. Let's confirm those module changes. Okay, so we're going to start off with four Claytronics. So what I'm going to do is take this one, copy it, Grab it from the red, flip it up that way. Over right there. And I think I also want to rotate it. Hundred eighty that way, and then pop it up. And then we'll copy that module and put this one here. Confirm module changes. Very good. Okay, so we got our eight pull parts in and our four claytronics in. And it looks like everything's lined up properly. And going down the center of the spine, which is exactly what we want. Okay, cool. Ugh. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to uh, let's do let's do a quick save here. And I'm going to bring up my station calculator and take a look at what our next uh, pieces are that we want to put in here. All right, guys. Um <clears throat> I got interrupted in in real life there, so um I think they okay yeah so the next i don't remember where we left off <laughs> um so we got uh we got eight hull parts we got four claytronics so the next thing on the list is eight turret components i want to make a crap ton of turret components because that seems to be the th thing that i need the most uh you know when i'm building our defense stations uh so we're going to overproduce those and if we have extra we just sell them so that being the case, so let's go ahead and do another 
section here. Copy sequence. And continue building out our spine here. Now, I don't know... I don't remember what turret components look like, so let's grab it and see what we're dealing with it's in terms of its shape and connection. Turret components, turret components. Oh yeah, these little round Talati looking thingamadoodles. Well, I just say Talati because it's a, a dome kind of looking thing. Um, and again, those are top uh, or bottom connectors. It's kind of weird, though. They connect on the little leg thing there. So I think what we'll do with these is we're going to... Um, let's do the same kind of idea here. And we copy that, and then we copy the cross piece. And then we'll take and attach you to there. Oh, yeah, I know what we can do with this. Right, okay, so we'll just take this guy and copy like so. I'm I'm thinking though I want to rotate it like like this. Is that gonna be too close to the spine? I don't think so. Can we still get a vertical on here without any trouble? Yes, we can. Okay. Uh, we don't need that there. I just want to make sure. Well, actually, just to be on the safe side, though, let's, let's slide this over there. Yeah, let's just do it that way. There's no reason for that to be snug up against there. Just doesn't have to do that. Okay. Uh, no. Delete this. Copy this because it's already rotated that direction. Now I just need to flip it over. That doesn't matter now because it's going to lock it in place. Uh, okay, yeah, let's pull that away, and then I want to turn it I don't want it connecting down there, though. I think that's what I want. Yeah, it looks like it's lined up correctly. Okay, now let's copy this entire sequence. Set it there. And can I rotate the... No. How do I rotate like the whole thing? Or maybe I can't. I don't know. I think we tried this once before. Unless, is there a way to like hold shift down or control or alt? I think in earlier versions of X, you had to uh, <clears throat> hold shift down to rotate stuff. And then they added these little handles, uh, which the handles are useful except for that it makes. All right, hold on a second. So why did that grab the handle? Let 
It only moves that part. What if I select all of these and then click on this one? There we go. Okay. So I guess you just have to find the, um, the last or the, either the last or maybe the first piece that was connected to get that to work. I'm not sure. All right. Now it's not letting me grab it. Cause I think it flipped outside of space, the space. Can I do this? There we go. Okay. Now we should be able to grab the whole thing. Whoops. Grab the whole thing and move it up there. I might flip the modules around though so they're also pointing towards the Claytronics. Because then that just, you know, gives us more space out on this side. So I think I'll do that. Um, here, let's confirm the changes so far. Okay, well, we are out of time in this episode, guys. So let me just kind of tell you uh, what's going to happen next. Um, we're going to, uh, I'm going to put eight turret components in. Then we're going to move down and we're going to put in four shield components. I might actually put six of those in. Because we need quite a few of those, too. Um, and then in the next section, we're going to put it four advanced electronics. And then the next section, we're going to put four field coils. After that, I will put uh, two drone components, two smart chips, two food rations, and two medical supplies to finish out our end tier modules. When that's done, then I'm going to have to go back and add more intermediate modules to support all of those end tier modules. And of course, again, I'm, I'm basing this off of the online X4 station calculator. Uh, so I'm just going to keep working away at this, adding a little bit at a time, keep working on pushing the Xenon out of uh, split space, family, uh, family split space. Wow. 59 million. Yowzers. Yeah, this is going to be expensive, uh, but it's going to pay off in the long run. And then, so yeah, that's kind of where we're at. I don't know exactly when I'll bring you back for the next update, but we will definitely bring you back for an update at some point in the very near future. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.